Hey everybody. Just trying to get a look at some of these little crayfish. If you notice the one in the cave on the far left right now, he sort of chased this little one out and then the little one ran up the log. Now you can see this one sort of going back into his house and this little one has been booted out and he's in the wilderness now and has to fend for himself and find a new home. So he'll just creep around and they'll all sort of find their own little hiding place. Uh, I do have a lot of bottom dwelling fish in this tank that like to burrow underneath rocks as well so it's going to be interesting. I'm pretty sure these crayfish are all the same species but some of these have really interesting markings on their backs. It's still really early in the season, so I'm guessing only the first few have started to come out. Today is actually the first day I even saw any. Today uh, is the day I put all of the new fish and crayfish in the tank. So it's been a busy day down here. I've had a lot of fun with this tank. I've had a lot of help IDing a lot of the fish. One that I'm actually excited to learn about is these sort of rainbowy colored fish. I finally know what they are now. One of my viewers suggested I check out a rosy side dace. And I looked at them and sure enough, these are definitely rosy side dace. And I have some males and females. Uh, one of the things I was concerned about with these fish was a few of them. Uh, you can see this one right up here front and center has all those sort of white spots and bumps all over its head. I was wondering if maybe I didn't bring ick or or freshwater velvet or something into the tank and I was getting kind of concerned. But one of the identifying marks on rosy side dace is that the males will have little tubercles all over their heads and often on the fins. So those are actually an identifying mark that helped me positively ID these as rosy, uh, rosy side dace. So that's pretty exciting. I know what those are for sure. Um, while I can't remember the name of them, I do now know what these little guys are called. Uh, I have ID'd them as well. Uh, what else do we have in here that we've been able to ID today? Some of the darters on the bottom uh, I've definitely been able to get an ID on. The one that had sort of the wider head, I believe, is a fantail. But the one... Well, we'll just wait till we can see them rather than me try to explain because they're all really similar. One's got a pointy head, one's got a round head, one's got a flat head. So we will just wait and see on those. Uh, I am also going to do uh, tomorrow a feeding video on this tank. I'm going to go ahead and set up the tripod and we're going to just sprinkle some flake food and some pellets and stuff in the tank and watch what happens because it is a downright frenzy when some food goes in this tank. Everybody goes nuts. So I don't see any of the other fish coming out that I wanted to look at but fear not we have lots of time in the future. Uh, I really just wanted to get a little bit of a look at this crayfish while it was out and about. So thanks for watching this one. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff I got coming up. Don't forget this is my native tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks again for watching this one.